เพลดแดดแต้งเหรอคะนี่น้องชอบมากพี่เป๊ดโยพี่ where you at What's up, you guys? It's your girl Pam here. Welcome to my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe, comment, like. If you want to be a little extra, share my video. So today we're going to be answering some questions for you guys. I have my lovely husband here with me. What's up? What's your name? My name is Trey. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're just gonna answer some questions for you guys that you guys had for us. Let's get right. Do it. I'm hungry. I'm all day. <laughs> and got some Zaxby's. Did I get Zax sauce? Okay. Oh, yay. Oh, I need seasoning sauce, honey. Oh, boy, yo. <laughs> yeah, boy. Got the big pack of seasoning. You want seasoning sauce? Yeah, I think it will do. I hate that it doesn't stay like on the fries. It's time to stop. It's time to stop, okay? No more. Okay, then that should be enough. Here you go. Okay, so we're gonna jump right into the questions. Actually, first, hold on. Let's pray for our food. You go ahead. It's crazy. I went in with breakfast. And it's 7 57 right now. So, first question. What's the first question? Okay. So, first question is how to keep the relationship fresh. Or how do you not get bored of the other person? Hmm. You wanna go ahead? <laughs> um, how to keep the relationship fresh? Um, it's just how I think of it is. Um, basically, just how you pursue it and just keep doing it. The same thing you did when you first start talking to her don't get tired of doing that keep treating her as a queen get her flowers here and there you know what i'm saying you know cook her some breakfast in bed yeah you know, just treat her treat her like a queen all the time don't just do it when you first get together keep doing it throughout the years yeah um i would say how to keep it fresh Go on dates, you know, never stop dating. Um, even if y'all been together for years, um, go out on trips if you can. Just be spontaneous, you know? Um, if you don't have the money to go on dates like that. Just get yourself in the house. Yeah, plan something at home, cook together, do a little baking together. Um, and then how do you not get bored of the other person? He get my nerves, y'all. <laughs> um, but how do you not get bored of that person? I, I just don't. I don't know how to answer that. Yeah, it's so long. I mean, it's just. Yeah. I'm, I don't get tired of it, even though she's on my nerves, but I don't get tired of it. <laughs> um, yeah, we just don't get tired of each other. That's just how it is. And next question. I'm hungry. Living together, living together versus not. So I guess how it is living together versus how it was when you weren't living together. That's definitely different. 
You want to go ahead and start that one? No, you can start with the first one. Yeah, you did. Um, it's definitely something to get used to because when we weren't living together, obviously we weren't sleeping in the same household. We weren't sleeping in the same room. Um, so, like, I, I guess it's very different because we only see each other throughout the day when we go out on dates or when he comes over like during the day. So it wasn't, we weren't together 24 seven. Um, I didn't know what, like how clean he was, how he does things, how he brushes teeth, how, none of that. So living together, definitely an adjustment because the way I do some things, he doesn't do this, he doesn't do it the same way. The way he does things, I don't do it the same way. So at first that was kind of challenging because it's like we were getting on each other about how to do stuff, but we had to realize we're not the exact same person, so. Yeah, it's an adjustment. Yeah. Cause me living by myself, I can do things how I want to, but she do things differently, so it's an adjustment. Hold on. You just have to communicate, honestly. And come. Yeah, because y'all gonna get into arguments that <laughs> y'all both seeing things in a different perspective. Yeah. You just gonna, yeah. You gotta come to a common ground. Instead of getting on each other about how to do things, just tell the other, hey, this is how I do things, this is why. So you can help them understand. Right? Yeah. I can say though. I don't like sleeping by myself no more. That's a plus. <laughs> At not, all. She ended up not in the bed, I can't sleep. <laughs> so that's another thing with me living with her. Now living by myself, I'm not that quick when I'm by myself, but I just got so used to sleeping with her, it's just, I can't sleep without her in the bed. I will not be able to sleep. He's a big baby when it comes to me, y'all. Right? Say you ain't. Oh, that's a sweet spot, a soft spot for him. He's a big baby when it comes to me. He love him some Pam. I love me some trade too. All right, next question. Sorry about here smacking. We haven't eaten all day. Excuse my nails, crunchy nails, you know. How we met. How we met. We still don't even remember how we met. No, we met in high school, but we don't remember how we started talking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we met in high school, not across high school. We started off as best friends. Sometime, some, how you turn into my husband. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we met in high school senior year. I think it was our second semester. Or end of first semester. Yeah, it was second semester. It was after football season. Oh, I remember. Yeah, I remember stuff like that. He had his eyes on me since eleventh grade, though, mm -hmm. y'all. Mm. He knew what he wanted a whole year before he had me. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, that's how we met. High school. I don't remember how we started talking. He doesn't remember. All I remember is when kick was, you know, when we had kick back in the day, we used to mess through kick, Snapchat. Um, I do remember though, I told him, I was like, oh, you're my best friend now. We should be best friends, something like that. And then we just became best friends. Like, he knew a lot about me. I opened up to him quick. Like it was normal to open up to him. And in the past, I, I couldn't do that. Um, no. yeah. I remember how I used to punch you in the hallways when I used to see you. Yeah, you used to punch me and jump in my arms. That was the way of me flirting with him. I used to punch him and take off. Yeah, I used to <laughs> jump in my arms when she see me. I used to be like, best friend. Then run to him, then jump on him. 
Good times. Good times. Mm-hmm. Good times. Can you see? Hi, Yama. <laughs> Do you want to answer that? This is going like YouTube. We don't have to say when. We just have to say like how was, I guess. The first time. When, we don't have to say when or where. <laughs> so, Slim, once you um, go to Minicano, you never go back. <laughs> first time? We were both shy first time. Um. Damn, he was hungry, boy. Yeah, we were both shy. We didn't plan it. We didn't talk about it. Are you sure about that? <laughs> but I did come ready, though. <laughs> she said she didn't want nothing to happen. <laughs> she was ready. No, I wasn't. But you know, it's like when you and your boot thing get together, it's like you never know what may go down. So you gotta be ready. <laughs> but yeah, we were both shy the first time. Mm. How did the idea of getting married come about? We just talked about it, honestly. Yeah, we always talk about getting married. Before we even got married, before we even talked about Before we even got engaged. I even mentioned that we went to graduation together and I was putting on her gown. I even mentioned we should get married. Oh, yeah. I'm doing all this. That was the first time he said it. And we weren't dating yet. Graduation day. We got there at the same time. We drove there together, but in separate cars. If that makes sense. We drove there at the same time. There we go. And then I asked you to help me put my gown on. Mm -hmm. And then... He was like, well, shoot, if I'm doing this, helping you do that, we might as well get married. I was like, huh? What do you say? He tried to act like he didn't say it. And then what? Two years after that, two years and a half, we got married. I mean, we had always talked about our future. Moving together, marrying kids. Yeah, once I got killed, too, there was no... Nobody else after that, it was just you. He was all about Pam. Pam put that thing on him, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> he fell. <laughs> Man, fall in love, boy. All the way around. What you mean, all the way around? Nah, he did. He did. He made me fall in love with him, y'all. I was scared. I was honestly scared start dating him because of my past but but a real one yeah this is very very different from my past so i say i'm too real for my own damn self sometimes but it's too it's too good to be true yeah and like he wasn't the type to just oh just talk about how he's gonna make me happy like he showed me like the way he treated me and yeah. Do we have another question? I think it's two more. Oh, here's a good one. How do y'all work out with communication skills? We've been working on that more. Yeah. We um we have disagreements here and there, but we apologize to each other when something goes too left. Um, <clears throat> we're trying to break down things so we both can understand because communication is nothing without understanding y'all gotta come together so y'all can both understand what's being said to each other so it don't be no argument yeah because that's how arguments start when both of y'all are not understanding where the other person's coming yeah. from yeah mm -hmm. um yeah that's really how we work and we're very much alike so when yeah. it comes to like i guess you can say quote unquote argument or when we're mad we don't talk to each other for at least a couple of minutes because we don't want to argue. We know it's going to get there because we're both very hard-headed. 
so like you said we just like explain to each other where we're coming from if he's telling me no i want something done this way or blah 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 and i'd be like no that's not the right way like i, I want it done this way this and that we sit down and talk about where he sees it from what perspective he sees it from and what perspective i see it from then we come together and understand yeah i see where you're coming from yeah i see why you say that i see why that upsets you and we solve the problem like we just talk it out we don't really like arguing like that yeah i don't like i don't like drama at all yeah instead of arguing we discuss how we're feeling mm-hmm. without yelling and cussing each other out if i don't like something he does i'd be like hey babe this and this upset me i don't like this i don't like what you said he understands apologizes we keep it going same with him you know he struggled a little bit with that like telling me how he feels and stuff but he's I believe you're doing better. Talking more, and if he gets upset, he tells me he doesn't like something, I have to understand, because we're not the same person. We think different, but we're very much alike. We see things from different perspectives. Marriage is a process at a young age, because you're still maturing and growing up, so everything is gonna be (coughs) all, you know what I'm saying? Fun games, like. (laughs) We still growing up, maturing mentally and physically. We gotta continue to grow up daily, so yeah, we are gonna keep learning about each other and keep learning about our own selves to keep making the marriage better. But it all starts with communication. Communication is the most important thing in a marriage. Mm-hmm. Communication with understanding. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that's it. We made it. Do you have any like? little relationship advice you would give somebody or a little tip from a guy's perspective fellas <laughs> oh. um, treat your ladies right man you know what i'm saying don't we we well, us black man we grow up in households where we witness our parents you know what i'm saying arguing and we think we supposed to do that with our women when we get older. No, you're supposed to change the narrative and love your woman differently, but in a way where it'll keep passing on. So when you have kids and they see how much y'all loving on each other, then they don't want to be like that. And that's going to break the curse of, you know, yeah. how we grow up and see our parents, how, how they are. But, you know, just... Just treat your ladies right, man. Be there for a supporter. Just. Mm-hmm. Little tip I would say. Hmm. Hold on, y'all. I'm still chewing. <laughs> Little tip I would give is to my ladies. Um, guys have emotions too we need to understand that we need to understand that they were raised in a way that they have to be tough like where they can't show emotions or people look at them as weak or they can't cry they can't tell anybody how they're feeling and we need to understand that some men you know it's going to be hard for them to open up you have to work with them though you need to tell them why they're opening up you need to let them know you're there for them you need to let them know that you know you're not going to treat them excuse me how others did um and just you know they may be acting tough but they love lovey-dovey stuff too we can do cute stuff for our man too um but yeah, that's the tip I would say. Try to understand your man. He trusts us too. Especially if y'all live together and he's the head of the household. That's stress yeah. on him. Yeah. Like, trying to bring, you know, money in and being head of the household. Keeping you happy. Keeping family happy at the same time. Trying to keep his job. And it's not easy for the guys either, you know? Sometimes us women, we may look at it as... He's just bringing money in. That's it. Like, what is he stressing about? Like, no. 
they stress they they think too they have emotions so yeah talk to your men <laughs> um but yeah that's all we have for you guys today thank you for tuning in um let us know what else you guys want to see let me know what you guys want to see and it doesn't always have to be videos with him obviously but if you guys want a video with him let me know if y'all want to laugh then you might want to have a video with him. i swear he's funny y'all <laughs> but yeah thank you guys for tuning in um i hope you guys like this video Again, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and if you want to be just a tad bit extra, go ahead and share my video. Tell your friends, your mama, your daddy, your granny, your granny's husband's auntie's cousin, little cousin, yes. you know, babysitter, everybody. Share them, tell them about me, tell them about my channel, tell them about hubby, you know, he'll be in some of my videos, not all. If you guys want a channel with us, let us know. But yeah. Thank you guys. See y'all next time in my next video. Peace.